Hello and welcome back to another Tribe Architect tutorial. In this one, we're going to see how to use two elements from the Tribe Architect editor. And these are the custom HTML element and the Google Map element. We're going to start with the custom HTML element. With the help of this one, you will be able to easily insert custom HTML code to your page. All you have to do to start using this element is to click on the plus sign from the right sidebar in order to open the list of Tribe Architect elements. Scroll down and look for the custom HTML element and when you find it, grab it and drag and drop it onto the editor depending on where you want to place the element on the page. As soon as you do that, a pop-up window will open where you can start typing the HTML code like so or simply paste it in. For demonstration purposes, I am going to insert a table, but of course a table can be added using the table element of Tribe Architect found in the right sidebar in the list of elements. However, I am going to add it using the HTML code simply to demonstrate how this element works. So once you've added the code here, go ahead and click on save. So as you can see, my table has been added here and the options of the custom HTML element will appear on the left sidebar. If I ever want to go back and edit the code, I can simply click on edit HTML content and I will be taken back to this pop-up. We can, for example, rename it like so, and I'm going to click on save and you're going to see that this text has been changed. Please note that if you're using this element to add a conversion tracking script to a non-default state of a Tribe Leads form, then another section will appear and you will have to choose when to load the HTML code. We do have a separate article about that, so please check it out if you're in that situation. Besides editing the actual code, you can also use these three sections of options found in the left sidebar and you can, of course, modify the layout and position of the element that you've added using the HTML code. You can also use the responsive section to have the element visible on certain devices only, and so on and so forth. For all of these options, we do have separate articles in our knowledge base. This is basically it for the custom HTML element. Now let's see how to use the Google Map one. So, of course, to add it, I'm going to click on the plus sign from the right sidebar, and look for it in the list of elements. When you find it, you can grab it and drag and drop it on the editor, like so. So the default address here will be New York, but of course you can change the address by typing in another one in this field. So let's go for Golden Gate Bridge. So I've just typed in the address and I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard and as you can see the pin has been added to the Golden Gate Bridge from San Francisco. So again you've seen that once we've added the element its options appeared on the left sidebar. So besides the address you can also choose how much the map should zoom in and you can either use this slider or this field to modify the zoom value. Then you can activate the stretch to fit screen width option, which of course, just like the name says, will stretch the element to full width. Now, if you leave this option toggled off, then you will be able to manually adjust the width of the element like so using this slider or again entering a numerical value in this field. Moreover, you can also adjust the height of the element and that will be possible using the height option here. So just like in the case of the other elements, for the rest of the options, we do have separate tutorials which go into in-depth details about how you can use them to customize any Tribe Architect element. Just as an example, we can open the Layout and Position section and center align this element, for example. One more thing that I want to note here is that if you have previously used the Advanced Custom Fields plugin to set up a text type of custom field, with coordinates as the assigned value for this page, you will have the option of using that custom field with the Google Maps element here. So I have previously went and created the setup for which I will link some articles and tutorials to help you do that if you want to. 
And as you can see, the element type option has appeared here, which will let me choose a static source for the Google map element or a dynamic one. Now, if I will choose the dynamic option and click on this field, I will have the map coordinates custom field that I have created using the advanced custom fields plugin. And if I choose it, it's going to take me to the coordinates that I've set as a value for this page. I will also have this section with more options. And if I click on it, I will be able to choose what happens if the custom field is not available. So that's something to keep in mind if you're using custom fields on your website. This was how you can use the custom HTML element as well as the Google map element while editing your website using Tribe Architect. Hopefully this tutorial was useful and please be sure to check out all of the articles and tutorials from our knowledge base if you need more information about Tribe teams and all of our products.